Uh, hello guys, I'm going to show you how to crop pictures. I used to have a YouTube video and uh, for this, and it had really bad audio because I had a very terrible mic. Still have a terrible mic, but not as not as bad. I'm using my phone to record the audio because it's a bit better. And uh, anyway, that's not important. What is important is that I'm going to show you how to crop these. And show what I was trying to talk about in class. Um, so let's say you have a picture of something you want to show off right here. Now this is really great. Um, pro tip first, if you want to uh, zoom in extra close, you can use a uh, hold down control and you can use your mouse wheel. Well, it's not working here because I have that. But you can also click control. Oh, but it doesn't work because I'm in here. In other applications though, you can normally, uh, like let's say I'm on here, I can just click uh, control, zoom in, and it lets me zoom into like the web page. This works in a lot of applications. You can also do uh, Control Zero, and it uh, will reset it back to what it was. You can use Control Plus Minus the ones on your number pad to uh, zoom in as necessary or zoom out as you see fit. So that's an important feature if you're trying to take screenshots of some you know of some stuff that's really small. Anyway, doesn't work in net beans, but. No, I don't think that applies. This is just a quick example. This isn't my actual um, paper of the steps and instructions. So I'm going to click Control Print Screen because that's what works on my computer. I'm going to right click Paste. And here's the important bit. You want to, uh, you want to crop this. Well, this isn't the important bit. You already knew this bit about cropping. Enter. Now, watch what happens if I uh, save this as a picture real quick. I'm just going to be like, screenshot for class. The caps lock makes it extra cool. Now, let's say I go over to pictures, and I click screenshot for class, and I open up. There, you can see it's not cropped. It kept the original picture, because what it does, according to me... What it does is it, uh, at least on my computer, this is what it does. It takes the original picture that you put into here, and it just keeps it. It copy-pastes the original file. It doesn't take your edited version, because when you put a picture in a Word document, oftentimes you're going to edit it around and play with it. But you don't want to mess with the original file. Because, you know, you could take it and you could change the color, you can resize it, and... You don't want that to uh, accidentally mess up your original file, so it's not going to uh, change that. And that's why we have this uncropped version. So what you want to do, if you want to get the actually cropped version, is first resize it really big, as big as you like. And then you're going to, uh, maybe not that big, that's a bit bigger than I would like. Which, by the way, you can use wrap text and you can use that to move it around. Anyway, I'm going to click cut and make sure you do this after you made it really big. That'll help keep the uh, original resolution. Then you click paste this picture. You can resize it, whatever. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click um, save as picture. Now I'm going to click screenshots for class part two. Save. Now if I go back to here, <gasps> the cropped version appears. Now, I'm going to show you real quick, and you don't, you know, this is the important information you need to know. Um, let's say I go back a bit, right? Let's say I don't make it really big. I keep it at this size, and I uh, just cut and paste. Oh, by the way, I forgot to specify. Don't use keep source formatting. Use picture. Otherwise, you'll you'll probably end up with the uncropped version when you try to save your file again. Anyway, now that I have this, I'm going to click um, save as picture. I'm going to be like screenshot for class part three. Save. And I'm going to open it. And I want you to uh, notice something here real quick. This big. And this is the part two. Right? 
This is the part three. Notice how much blurrier that is? This is why you want to make your screenshots as big as possible before you actually save it. Because your actual resolution is going to be bigger than when it saves the picture as. When it saves the picture you put in there, it saves it at what it sees has the appropriate size. It looks like, okay, this is the size and this is the actual resolution that it's using. This is the amount of pixels it's actually taking up on screen. This is what we're going to save it as for size. This is what it does to uh, try to keep file sizes down. Let me take a drink here real quick. Oh, I broke the golden rule of audio recording. Taking a drink broke the illusion. But that's why you gotta make your screenshots nice and big. As big as you can possibly do. Because look at that. It's really super blurry. So before I do that, always remember make it super big and then cut and then click this picture don't paste do not keep source formatting and then save and then you'll be on your way and then I can just go over to uh, go over to discussions right I can click alright I'm going to click on just gonna click a random thing here my cement course right I'm just gonna click attach a picture yep 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 upload Let's just go to um, pictures. Yep, I'm just going to click U, open. It'll take a little bit because it's it'll be a decent file size. That's not too important. You don't have to worry about that so much. All right, I click add. Image is decorative. You don't really need alternative texts. I never never worry about that. All right, if you want to see everything, you can redrag the uh, size of your editing window here. But you notice how this is a really big file? You want to uh, go ahead and shrink that down. Remember, it's always easy to shrink a file. And then, ta-da, just make it as big as you want. For, um, for bigger screenshots, we have to get really big detail. I'd recommend cropping it into a... Or cropping into multiple pictures or whatever. You want to keep things as small as possible. Again, if you make this too big, it's going to be really obnoxious to look at in your discussion posts. So, but if you make it too small, you can't read it. And then you can uh, click that, and you can type and do whatever and post it. And then uh, that's what happens. And again, if somebody um. If somebody has a super small screenshot or some text that looks really hard to read, you can just zoom in like that by using control, your mouse wheel, or the plus and minus, and you can get all the juicy in-depth detail. See, look how well we can read that. All right, I'm going to click control zero, put it back to the original size, delete that, cancel that, and let you guys have a nice day. Now that I was able to explain that thing. Alright, everyone. Goodbye!